stunning. It's got on there. Eyes closed, just swinging. Let's sing a song full of hope, full of pain. Why don't you sing along, my friend? For it's our last refrain. Forever young, ever strong, ever brave. Memories like this never end. No, they don't fade away. So when I'm gone, when I'm gone, I'll be right there, close to the sun. So we've got our new toaster. Aiden's just playing around with it. We went for the four slot. Is it four slot or four slit? I think it could be slit, you know four slit toaster and um, got it on amazon and it was reduced from 50 pounds to 30 so what a bargain Breakfast. we've got little things yeah oh, lovely reaction we've done our first big food shop thank you for paying for it how many you paid for it i did last week it sounded like you the way you said that makes it sound like you paid for it but he didn't pay a single penny he's actually leeching off my money already a bit awkward you are right like you got fucking generational wealth your favourite YouTuber is not humble. So I've got my spicy jumper on. I don't know if they still sell this up to me, but if they do, I'll leave it on below. It's from Skinny Dip London. All time, all time. Went to like a big Tesco. Got like a lot of stuff that we needed. Oh, we got window glass thing. this. Why did we not check? The exact same thing we did before. They basically left us a load of cleaning stuff here, but we didn't check before we left because we're idiots. And we've bought like three cleaning products that are relatively expensive. That we've already got in here. So this is actually that's this brilliant. Is actually, like clothes stain. Oh, they're we, very kind. We're, we're messy pubs. We got some window and glass cleaner. The Tesco's out. We got some Mr. Muscle shower shine. Flex on them. Flex on the viewers. Mm. Careful. And then oh, these I got some of our sweet treats in here. Our first cream eggs oh, of the year. <laughs> Milk a bubbly white. Oh, it looks fun. Why? And we've got some dairy milk. I had these, my mum and dad had these at their house um, when I went back last and they were delicious, the mint chocolate fingers. And then we went to the home section and found this gorgeous mug. Plates that we've got, they're literally identical to this, but they're from Ikea. And it's this blue color that ombres and then it has like brown details. As if it's the exact same. It's bizarre, Aiden spotted it and I was like, we're taking one it home. It like some like expensive brand, but we did like a collection that looks like it and everyone's copied it. True. Real. We've got some little loaf liners for banana bread or anything we cook in. The loaf tin that I've got. I thought that would be handy. We've got some tofu. Garlic bread because we have so much pasta in this house. So I thought it would be nice to have some garlic bread on the side as well. Toilet. What are they called? Toilet fresheners? Something like this. You know, these little things that go in the toilet. I've got a pink one to match my pink theme in my bathroom. We've got some more cleaning wipes. We've got some of these. Some baking trays, some oven trays that we didn't have before. We've got some air freshener, some rice wine vinegar. What's this? All purpose savory seasoning that Aiden got from Norm. If anyone, know, if anyone knows the Iron Man game, this is very, people who know, they know. Okay. It goes on everything, including toast. Interesting. Um, I've got some green Thai curry paste because I've got a lot of coconut milk, salt and pepper. You actually have yours that I got you. Where's that? And we got some very lazy chopped garlic. I feel like there's a little reason for this. We don't have the garlic press at the minute, so. That's also just way easier. Yeah, and then we've got this sun dried red chili paste. Oh. And then we've got some kitchen foil. They're really done because me and Aiden couldn't decide which one was the best no, one. No, I, know, no, no. I know everyone's going to pick your one. Like, I know it because I like more no, basic I'm, stuff. So my problem with your semantics is that we couldn't, we couldn't decide. No, we couldn't agree. Yeah, we couldn't agree. Breadsticks, Aiden likes these jumbo tubes, not a fan. Got lots of nice veggie stuff actually, didn't we? Like a mix of veggie and vegan stuff. And um, we got Linda McCartney's vegetarian hoisin kit meal, hoisin duck meal kit. Um, I can't wait to try this, you we know. We probably need to buy like cucumber stuff for that. This one from now? If someone like came out of prison, what? you've been in prison for 20 years and just saw what you were doing, they would think you're insane. Yeah. Have you seen that video with a guy who just come out of prison? He sees the guy playing with his phone and he's like so confused. Like, oh really? When he, when he was in prison it was like the 90s so like he only knows all the shit phones. Yeah. And like people paying with their phone. Then we've got some of this. The vegetarian butcher what the cluck. I got this. I actually can't remember. I don't know if they sent me some bits or I got it in like a degusta or something. I'm not too sure. But this was really good. It like really replicated like chicken thigh I'd say. In that sort of texture. 
and flavour as well. So I'm very excited to use this. We can probably pop it in like maybe a curry or some sort of stir fry or something we make this week. We've got some red onions for the cupboard. I needed some glue for my scrapbooking, so got some Pritt stick. We've got some golden syrup because Aidan wanted to make pancakes and we've actually got pancake mix in here as well. Pancake mix, we've got syrup and syrup will also be useful for some baking. Aiden got some of this for his skin. We've got some fry light sunflower oil, some tofu sweet chili, spicy sweet chili bites. I'm very excited to try those as well. We've got some avocados because we really enjoyed our avocado on toast with poached eggs the other day. And then we got a dish brush to scratch away all of our sins. We then got some bloom, tiger bloomer. So we thought we'd treat ourselves. We'd upgrade from the bread and have some bloomer. Different types of noodles. We've got like these ramen noodles that I love. These from Amoy as well are amazing. They're medium noodles. Aiden got some of his favourite Indomie noodles as well. Some spicy ones and some chicken ones. We also got some chopped garlic, some very lazy chopped garlic as well. And then we got some oat milks because they were on offer on the club card price. Oh, chopped ginger. What did I say? Chopped garlic. That was the one before, right? Sorry. Um, then we got some Alpro oat milk because it's my fave and your fave as well, I think, out of the plant-based milk. Oh, oh. Mm. So we got some of those because they were on the club card offer for a pound each, which is very rare. So I got a couple of those and we wanted to try this one as well. Yeah. And it's barista. Uh, yeah, 80p. Delicious. And then final bits we got, we got some of these crisps and some snacks. I might actually have some of these now, actually. These are the, you know, like the eat real lentil quinoa chips. We got some vanish carpet cleaner which we, have. which we already have which is very annoying we've got some cheese huge lot of apple juice because we're going to use it to mix with our like smoothie stuff from love struck they've sent me some smoothies fresh action gel berry magic some thai dragon sriracha hot chili sauce aiden got some mayo i don't like mayo but he'll need it and probably anyone else who comes over will need it lemon juice we've got some blue dragon fish sauce some cherries and berries quadruple strength. Sorry, quadruple strength. Me and I only knew that was a thing since the last week. I got some blue dragon satay stir fry sauce. So I thought that'd be interesting to try and Aiden got some of the Yo Sushi Korean style sweet chili. And then finally, we've got some sesame oil, some Tesco's own sesame oil and some red pepper hummus. Didn't buy oh, you didn't buy pita. Oh well, at least you can buy pita from somewhere a bit more close by. Mm -hmm. Plan for the rest of our Sunday is to go to Oxford Circus, I think. Hopefully it's not too busy. I'm gonna go homeware shopping to see if we need any other bits, maybe. Just more to have a look around. I d yeah, I do think that a lot of stuff will probably come together once we've sorted this sofa situation out, don't you? Mm -hmm. And then we'll be able to like decorate a little bit more and add some of our own like flair. Willie's sent me some probiotic shots. It's like a 60 day challenge. So if you didn't know Willie's, they do apple cider vinegar and it's like incredible for like so many things. E.g. all of these things listed here. Anti-inflammatory, antioxidant. And inside these bottles, it's a combination of intense things. And I'm quite scared. <laughs> so me and Aiden are gonna start doing the challenge. It is 60 day, but we're gonna make it 30 day because we're gonna be both be doing it at the same time. So feel free to join us. Or take maybe your vitamins or something that you forget to every day. I made a bit of a mess of it, but I was kind of gagging pouring it out because that is a lot of apple cider vinegar. Cheers. <laughs> right, we're just about to head to Oxford Circus and have a look around the home shops. See how I'll show you guys. First stop's H&M Home. You ready? No. Hello. And we went to H&M Home first, which we picked up some bits at. TK Maxx, there was nothing in there. Went to Tiger and picked up a couple bits and then a couple more bits at Primark Home. So I'm gonna show you what we picked up. I've got this really cozy, fluffy thing on. I actually don't know where it's from. So if I do find out, I will try and leave it down below, but it's not the classic Udi that everyone has. It's like a different company. So I will check and let you know. In case you guys didn't see the toaster properly earlier, this is what it looks like. It's pretty stunning. We've got the different settings down there. We haven't used it yet, obviously. And then we've got the four slots. Lovely jubbly. I feel like I didn't properly show it earlier, so sorry about that. First things first, we got these pieces from Tiger, 
we got a Aiden really wanted to pick up this it's a measuring cup he said it would be good for like measuring out the rice and stuff when we're using the rice cooker and just feel like it's handy having all the measurements on a glass and then I wanted some glass straws for like iced coffees and I don't know I just really like the glass drawers I like the sound it pleases me quite a lot and obviously it's reusable so we're not wasting any plastic yeah so I decided to get the white ones then they look sort of look more like frosted and then these green ones that are a bit more transparent I liked the white and the green thought they would go well in the kitchen so I picked up those and then we also got this from Tiger for our kitchen roll so we can pop that on like so lovely jubbly kitchen roll all secured and the wood goes with our theme in the kitchen because everything here everything here is like pretty much wood i need to cut off all of the labels and stuff but yeah we got that in flying tiger and then i obviously went to primark home the other day which is what you'll have seen in the primark homeware haul um, but i also picked up some metal hangers because i've realized that i have barely any coat hangers and we've got a lot of like wardrobe space so i decided to get 10 for three pounds from primark which is pretty good um and then the pink ones as well thought they looked pretty cute and then i also got a mortar and pestle because i really wanted it for making my matcha i've got like matcha powder in the cupboard and i needed this to help me make and grind the matcha so this is so heavy so weighty it's nine pounds so a little bit more spenny for primark but it's such good quality like this is very very weighty the marble design is very cute and then i think this is the final thing we got from primark i want to say and um, two little ramekins just useful for bits and pieces but they're actually oven safe microwave safe so we can do a lot of these i was initially getting them because we were doing poached eggs the other day and the tutorial told us that to put the stone ramekins and i thought these were super cute but they're going to come in useful for like if we make like little desserts and things and also it can be cute as like little dips in serving stuff if we have guests over so i thought that would be cute and then finally we got some bits in oh did i get this yeah we got some bits in h&m home it is breathtaking in there i wish i could have picked up everything and brought it all home with me but it's obviously a little bit more expensive uh, but i would definitely recommend look, checking them out online if there's not a h&m home near you because their stuff is unreal and it's a relatively relatively okay price like it's not extortionate but when there's places like tiger and primark it's hard to like resist getting that sort of, sort of stuff if you can get it for a cheaper price but I had to pick up this. This this is the H&M Organic Cotton Hand Towel. And I got it in a green because I thought it would contrast nicely with the pink in my bathroom and also consistency vibes. And that's the colour scheme of mine and Carrie's um, online business. And then what else did we get? We got a vase. Oh, I really wanted one of these vases for so long and I thought it would look so nice in the like table that we've got in the hallway when you first walk into the flat. And I just thought it was so beautiful. It's like an asymmetric abstract style vase and we're going to put in this flower this load of flowers that i got and um, this was a bit more expensive the vase was 25 pounds but again it's really nice quality and then we got some flowers they packaged them up really nicely as well we went to the h&m home on regent street and then the primark home that i've been raving about is on tottenham court road because i know a lot of you on instagram have messaged me like which primark is this and it was the tottenham court road so i've got like a really nice home my section downstairs so we got these I actually don't know what type of flowers these are. Beautiful white flowers. I'm really bad with flower names, so someone could let me know. They're probably very obvious, but a bit shit. But is this brand called Bunchery? I think they clearly partner with H&M and they sell real flowers because it's usually like artificial flowers in home stores like that. So yeah, I've got these pretty flowers. I'm going to pop them in my bathroom at Vars because there's a pink vase in there. And then I've also got this, which... I want to say it's pussy willow but it probably isn't it gives me that sort of vibe because it's like furry and like really soft and we're going to put that inside the vase for the entrance i think that's going to look really cool we obviously need to cut it down a bit because it's very very big but yeah they were the picks from today i feel like we did well we got a few bits that we needed like i needed a hand towel in my bathroom because i've only got my one that i've been using to wash myself with and then yeah i've got like my coat hangers the ramekin dishes the measuring the more impossible and then we've also got a few fun little bits as well like the vase and the flowers so yeah all in all a great time um i think me and aiden are now going to go play this game that he downloaded on his laptop the other day and it's addictive i have addictive pers like addictive personality and also i love games like i feel like growing up i just was obsessed with playing like computer games and things i feel like i had a lot of male people in my life like i don't really obviously don't have any sisters um and all of the people who live like on my road because when when i was younger we always used to play out with each other rather than like game online and stuff most of the time so 
I would be like around boys a lot and I just feel like maybe that's why I'm like really into like gaming and that sort of thing as like a stereotype as the stereotype goes but yeah I just I'm really into it I'm very competitive like I used to be super sporty yeah I don't know I just feel like I've always got that like weird gaming obsess obsessiveness inside of me so that's what me and Aiden are gonna do he found this really cool game it's called lovers in I want to say it's called like lovers in a dangerous space time or something weird like that it's actually supposed to be like a four player game and me and Aiden are playing it as two players and we've found it fucking difficult but I, I love a challenge I don't like it when games are too easy to start off with it annoys me a lot so I'm very excited to get cracking with that again I had literally the best night last night I was like this is my dream Saturday like sat inside eating snacks and playing a game with Aiden it's like literally my dream weekend so very excited to do that again tonight and then i need to really plan my day for tomorrow because i've got a very fun week ahead i thought this would be like a nice fun chill sunday video i know it's not very crazy because most of the time i've been in here showing you tesco hall and the homer hall and um, but yeah i hope you enjoyed it nonetheless some fun things planned and it's also aiden's birthday so i'll try and film some bits of that as well lovely mm -hmm.